Well, let's begin from cycling, where the Federation has cleared the air um, surrounding claims by Nigerian cyclist Ese Okweserai that she had to beg to get a bicycle to race. In the Kering and track events at the ongoing Olympic Games, President Cycling Federation of Nigeria, Jan Domeninko Masari, who spoke exclusively to the NTA after the outburst, revealed that custom-made bicycles for specific events at the Olympics were presented by strategic partners who signed Opeserai up on a two-year contract. He further disclosed that having arrived in Paris before July 23, when Nigeria got the notification for the two events, the best option was to use equipment provided by the international partners at the Games. Twenty third has been or July has been giving us the notification of this uh, you know qualification, two qualification. So we have no any way, even if you have all the money of this world, you cannot uh, you know order and receive such bike. So through these people, uh, they will be able, uh, not because we went, uh, uh, even themselves, they suggested to get, and they get a bike that has been uh, accepted and even uh, registered for such competition. That is the matter. Still with the Olympics, defending bronze medalist in women's long jump at the Games SA Brume finished fifth position in the event concluded about an hour ago. The African champion alongside Ruth Usoro and Pristina Ochonogo all fell behind Tara Davis Woodhull of the USA in 7 minutes, 7.10 meters. Uh, Malika Mihambo of Germany also leaped 6.98 meters and Jasmine Moore of the USA won bronze in 6.96 meters. Also on Friday, world record holder Toby Loba Amosa will compete in the 100 meters huddle semi final to keep Nigeria's quest for gold medal alive. Away from the Olympic Games, 13 teams will compete in Nasarawa State's Governor's Cup, which is specifically targeted at developing talents at the grassroots. Correspondent Ali Tijani in Lafia reports that the tournament, which is the second in the series since Governor Abdullahi Suli assumed office, will help the state contribute its quota to sports development in Nigeria. Governor Suli also unveiled tournament kits and trophies ahead of the kickoff of the competition. We solicit for support for a successful tournament. Under my leadership, we will continue to initiate tournaments and competition that will promote football, region, talent, and provide job for our youth. This is one thing that always excites me because we are trying as much as possible to show, to bring talents from within us that are going to be pride of us. And of course, that's your sports. It's back to Naja.